Hi, the objective of this presentation is to show how quickly it is to set up 123 sync. What we have here is a st the standard active demo database. And what we have is, let's have a look at Outlook. We have an Outlook, and here we have Outlook with all the contact items. And what we want to do is match the contacts from ACT and the activities from ACT over to the Outlook calendars in the TOM1 folder. So we have the calendar here and we have a set of existing contacts here. So let's just start 123Sync. Let's go to the Start button. Click on 123Sync. You get a prompt saying to add, select the database. So we click on Browse. Let's go to the Act Demo database. We'll click on Open. It asks for a password. Chris Huffman, one, two, three. Click for the password. That asks us where, which country we live in. In this case, it's United States. And after it's that, now it, we're ready to set up where you want to put the data. We want to do Outlook. So we click on the Contacts. Here's the Contacts folder. So just click on Tom1, click on Contacts, and click on Calendar. Let's go to Tom1 as well. And click on Calendar on Tom1. Then click on Tasks. We want to put it on the Tom1 Tasks. So now we're set to sync. So after we set up the folders, now we want to set up the background sync. So we click on Tools background processing and then just click on install background sync services it will ask you for the password for the system we just enter the password and now it's running in the background I would like to point out that from the time we open the ACT database to selecting the contacts folders or the sync folders and to set up the background synchronization process, it took us less than 90 seconds. So how do we manage the background synchronization? We go to the system tray and right click on the 123 sync background manager. Here we can see this is where the next sync is going to be. And we can run the sync right now if we want to, or we can stop any ongoing sync. We can look at the timing, how often we want to run it. So if you click on timing, here it is. It's actually set to run every 30 minutes. So let's go back to the system tray again. And we also have a sync log that will show you whether it's synced. And uh, here we can see it's already synced once. And they basically just uh, went through the, all the data and transferred it over to Outlook. So now that you've set up a single user to sync, it's only fair to set up the other users to sync as well. So just click on the user, enable the user, then just select the contacts folder. This user, we're going to sync him to the Outlook, cal to Outlook contacts here. So we, on the calendar, we just have him select the default calendar, and we have him select the default tasks. Okay. And uh, now we've, we also test whether we can log in into act so we just put in the password for Ernst Anderson so just test for the login now we're set to sync the second user so let's just go for the third user so click here and then the third user let's click him to Tom 1 and sync him to this set of uh, items so testy contacts so I'm going to click on there go to the second to the calendar and then just select the the tasks. Oh, not the tasks already been selected. So we just go here and select this tasks folder here. So now you're set. So now you've set up three users to sync between Act and different folders in Outlook or Exchange. Don't don't forget. Always test whether you can log in into ACT or not. Click on Test. See if you can log in. If it's not, for example, if you have the password is incorrect, it will tell. It will ask you for the password. 
So you can just go here and, and enter it if you want to. Okay. So here at 123 sync we're impatient. So we want it to sync now. So what we do here is we right click on the system tray and we just click on run sync now, then it will run the sync. Or you can just click on the synchronize. It will show you the three users that are synchronized and just click on the sync users. So very quickly, in less than five minutes, you set up uh, three users with all the all the data connected between ACT and the different Outlook or Exchange folders, and you're ready to sync those users. This concludes our presentation on how to quickly set up 123Sync to sync three users between ACT and Outlook Exchange. For more information, please contact your integrator or 123Sync.com. Thank you.